All right, Stephen's back here with me to talk about just a couple of headlines. Um, of course, Trump coming to Detroit. And I also wanted to talk a little bit about the fact that we haven't heard anything from the appeals court on this straight um, party ticket, the straight ticket voting. Yeah. Um, even though that uh, Schuette and uh, the Secretary of State wanted something um, this week. So, but let's talk a little bit about Trump and the fact that he's coming back to Michigan. I mean, he doesn't, he doesn't care what the polls say. <laughs> <laughs> he's coming back to Michigan, but he's courting the African American vote and right. using, um, you know, using a church here and really a, 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 the program yeah. um, here in Detroit to do so. Do you think? Well, he's, so he says. That's so what he's, he's doing. So he says that's what he's doing. Yeah. But I think the I think the more sort of studied analysis is that he is trying to soften the edge of white voters who uh, are now seeing him as a racist and seeing him as, as somebody who's insensitive to racial tensions and things like that. He has almost no chance of convincing African Americans to vote for him, but he will get killed in November if he can't convince uh, middle class white voters uh, to vote for him. And most of them, uh, or a lot of them, also are concerned about race and racial tensions. And the way that he has sort of characterized those things so far uh, is pushing them away. And that's that's what part is, is part of what is behind his slip in the polls. Do you really do you really think that he's going to come here and try to be a little moderate? Because so many times people have said, well, you know, Trump, he's going to it's going to kind of soften it a little bit. He's yeah. going to go moderate. And you saw last night his speech on <laughs> immigration. Mexico, yeah. There is no, there was nothing moderate about that. I think that. what he's trying to do is look reasonable, right? Is look like somebody who will stand next to the president of Mexico and talk about immigration, even though they disagree. Somebody who will stand with a bishop in Detroit, someone who will go around a city like Detroit with Ben Carson. Uh, who's a Detroiter, which which says to some people, well, this is not just like uh, an unreasonable person. This is not someone who's not willing to listen. He may mm -hmm. have different views about these things, but he's not a racist. And I think that's the goal here. Is and again, that's that's very that's very distressing. I think if you are a black voter, he's not talking to us. He's not talking to the city. He's not talking really about the city's problems. He's playing to another audience and using uh, Detroit as a proxy. So do you think we're going to see him back here before uh, November? You think uh, we may. I mean, I think the polls sort of dictate that. I mean, it's unusual to see a Republican candidate come to Detroit during the general election. I think uh, that's that is in and of, us, in and of itself yeah. is notable. Uh, but if the polls continue the same way they will, uh, he probably will have to come back and or or go to another African American city to to make his point. All right, and speaking of the election, we only have about 25 seconds left yet. We're still not. We still don't know about a week That's out so from the ballot that, that right? about um, a straight party yeah, ticket, yeah. Um, which I think is really my sense is that here. the courts will say you got to keep straight uh, straight ticket voting, uh, but who knows when they're going to do it. All right. Well, we'll be looking for that. It's good to see you. Good, good to see you, see you back. Too. Have a great weekend. Yeah. That's going to do it for my week. Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, check us out on Facebook and on Twitter. We are there. And, of course, myweek.org. Thanks so much for supporting Detroit Public TV. We couldn't do this show without you. Have a great holiday weekend. We'll see you next time. Take care.